Hi, this is Darren with Smartsheet Guru. Have you ever wanted to copy specific columns from one Smartsheet to another? Smartsheet Guru is happy to announce that we are now offering the SmartLink add-on in partnership with the WeGrid platform. Let's see a demonstration of this powerful add-on. I have a sheet with employee data. If this sheet looks familiar, you may have seen it as part of an example solution in my book, Smartsheet Architecture Solutions. Now, this sheet is great for those in an organization that need to see all the data on an employee, such as the incentives they have earned during the current pay period. But what if we want to have specific data from this sheet shown in another sheet? I've created a sheet called Public Employee Directory that shows information about employees that can be viewed by anyone in the organization. I've created a configuration using the SmartLink add-on that will do two things. When the status of an employee is changed to active, they will be added to the Public Employee Directory, but only select columns will be added. If an employee's name role or email address is updated in the HR viewable employee data sheet, that change will automatically be seen in the public employee directory. Let me demonstrate this. I will change Anna's status to active and she will be seen in the employee public directory. Wow, that's impressive. See that Anna has now been added and only the relevant columns were copied. Next. We just found out that Nancy got married and changed her last name to Jones. I'll update that now in the HR facing employee sheet. And again, the public employee directory will reflect this change. Let's refresh this sheet and speed up the smart sheet refresh here in a destination sheet. And there we go. There's Nancy Jones. Another added benefit is that if data is deleted from the target sheet, it will be repopulated from the source sheet. Let's delete a last name here. We'll save that. And in a little bit, this cell will be repopulated from the source. Now, I've just showed the solution copying the data to one sheet. However, you can map the data to multiple sheets using the same configuration if desired. I've created a second copy of the public employee sheet. I'll activate another employee and we'll see them copied into both sheets. Let's activate Thomas. Okay, there's Thomas in the first one. And we go to that second one and we see Thomas being uh, added here as well. You can also choose to cell link the data instead of copying the data. This is an example of a public facing directory with cell linked data. If a cell link and data is deleted in this target sheet, it will be restored automatically. Okay, we help that uh, smart sheet uh, refresh a little bit here in this sheet, and we see that the cell link and data has been restored. Let's take a look at the WeGrid platform. I'll let this task here that I've already created and go over some of the configuration options. In the data mapping, you can choose to update data or cell link the data. The override existing data will keep the destination sheet in sync with the source sheet based on both records having the same unique ID. In our example, that is the employee ID. The add new rows option will execute when new rows are added in the source sheet, it will copy those new rows over to the destination. Apply a source column filter. This allows us to selectively add new rows or override existing data in the destination sheet based on, based on a column in the source sheet. In our example, we use the status column that when the status column is set to active, it would then copy the new employee over. Duplicate source rows allows us to pick the first match, the last match, or if we have duplicate rows in the source, we can choose to skip them. Run task after saved is strictly an option within WeGrid 
that if I make updates to this configuration and save it or update it, um, it will run this task immediately. Speaking of running the task, there are several options once you create the task on the WeGrid platform. You can choose to run it manually, you can schedule it, or I have enabled auto run for changes in the source sheet. And if those changes meet our filter criteria, it will update the target sheet. Now we'll go back to editing task. It is very easy to continue with the setup because you select the source sheet. And then you select the ID column, which is indicated by the V. Likewise, in the target sheets, you will uh, choose the key column in each sheet, and then you can map um, columns from the source to the destination. Notice the numbers help you with this. So number one employee full name will map to employee name in this target sheet and employee full name in this target sheet. Uh, I intentionally uh, have the names different so that you can see uh, you do not have to name the columns the same. And likewise, going to the second status, we'll map to the number two status column here and number two status column here. If you are interested in learning more, visit smartsheetguru.com slash smartlink. I look forward to giving you a personal demo and seeing how this add-on can improve your Smartsheet solution. Thanks for watching.